Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla, and I want to say thank you for stopping by for a visit today. I am slow going today, <laughs> slow at getting my day going. I'm just having some medical issues with my feeding tube, and it has put a damper on my day, but I'm trying to get past that and move on and make the best of my day anyway. Moving slowly. <laughs> Um, is I hope this isn't too much information, but and it could be considered gross, but um, it's life. It's very much my life. Around my feeding tube, um, the skin around it is very irritated because stomach acid juices leaks out around the tube, and it um, is irritating my skin. Even though um, you know I change my dressing around my tube um, every morning every night and then some at some point midday so three times a day sometimes four times a day if it's leaking badly and you know I can tell it needs changing but um, it is very red raw irritated and broken open open skin there in several places and so when that um, acid hits the open skin yeah, it, it's not, it's, it's very painful. <laughs> and so um, I'm keeping it clean and I have a barrier on there, a barrier, barrier cream on it to, um, you know, try to protect it and help it heal. But it's hard for it to heal when it's continuously leaking. But anyway, I just changed my bandage and I have all new bandage on there and I taped it up super good and even pulled my tube up and taped it up <laughs> um, so that maybe the bumper would stay off of that raw spot. But anyway, that that's why I'm just slow moving today. I'm slow go because I don't feel well because that's just got me in so much pain. I don't feel good at all. And then I'm slow moving because um, sudden movements or moving certain ways or just you know, like just moving my arms and my body turning and stuff, it kind of pulls on that. And so, yeah, it's life, you know, it's just something I have to deal with. It's no big, it should be no big deal, but when it's painful, it is a big deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so today I wanted to talk to you about my entry for um, the fair under the children's wear category. Okay, so someone asked me, I referred to the book and the entry category and someone had asked me about that I know I've shown this before but not everybody sees every video I know that you know that's just like reality <laughs> and so I was just mentioning this again that at my fair in Monroe Louisiana um, we have this book you can see the thickness of it that we can pick up at the agricultural center and in this book it's about um, the fair entries it's broken down to different age groups, and it lists the things um, that you can enter um, in all the categories. And there is a plant section, there's a baking section, there's um, fruits and vegetables, there's a can you know, for canning. Um, there's just there's lots of sections in here. I am in the category of 18 to 65. Well, 19 to 65. There is a category. The category before mine is ages 14 through 18. So I'm in the category under 65. So that would be 19 years old through 65 years old. So I'm in that category. And it's broken down to um, there's sewing section, there's crochet garments, knitted garments. Um, quilts, hand quilts, machine quilt, pillows, pillowcases, tablecloths, uh, placemats, runners, and napkins, bedspreads, afghans, other fancy handiwork. And then there's a um, art section. And then there's a photography section. And then there's, um, oh wait, what's that one? arts um, crafts and arts section 
and then there's a Christmas section. So that's the sections that I'm, you know, in my category. Other than there's also the baking, which I'm not doing, plants, which I'm not entering, um, canning, which I don't do, <laughs> and it might be something else. It might be a couple more, you know, categories like that, that I'm, you know, it's not my hobby. So, today, I'm drinking just regular old Louisiana sweet tea over ice. Um, like I said, I'm not feeling well, and I do not feel like going the extra steps to even fix anything to drink, <laughs> other than just pouring some tea in my mug. So anyway, guys, um, I have, I was, you know, looking through and trying to figure out what I've made um, since the last fair that I could enter and so in crochet children's wear I have a couple of dresses that I had um, crocheted for Tallulah which is my two toddler girl <laughs> she's a doll I, I do collect dolls if you don't know that I have reborn dolls and I do collect some dolls but anyway Tallulah is um, like 31 inches tall and she wears two toddler clothes. I have a couple of dresses that I had crocheted for her but they're like um I feel like they're just plain. They're not anything fancy about them and then I have some baby dresses that I've crocheted um but anyway so um looking through that I was comparing things and I decided that I was going to um enter this dress that I made for Magnolia. And so Magnolia is going to model the dress for you today. Come on, Magnolia. All right, so this is the dress that I'm going to enter. Um, this is a bag -o day pattern, and it is just a beautiful dress. I made it in, um, it's a Hobby Lobby sparkle yarn i love this yarn it's sparkle i don't remember the colorway but it's a green it's a pretty lime green and then i trimmed it in this off white with gold sparkle in it which is also uh, i love this yarn and i have um three buttons on there and then around the the collar you can see that it's kind of uh it has these picos there and then on the sleeves it also has um, a little decorative stitch and a pico I don't know how well you can see that and then around the bottom of the dress is also um, picos and so it's a really pretty dress it was a lot of work it was um, like I said, it's a bag all day pattern, and I, you know, thoroughly enjoyed making the dress. Crystal's pattern is excellent. It is. And Magnolia is very happy and loves her dress, as you can tell. She's, she loves it, right, Magnolia? <laughs> she loves it. So, I think I will enter Magnolia's dress into the fair. Um, now, when I take it to the fair, it's just going to be on a... A hanger I don't know if they really take it I guess I'll just put it on a hanger and take it that way it won't be hung up it'll be laid on a table but the hanger um, if they hold it up to judge it you know by the hanger if they hold it by the hanger to keep its shape a little more um, whether other than just you know laying there and being picked up wadded up or whatever you know so I think I'll enter this under children's wear and we'll see how that does um, I'm not taking Magnolia up there to wear it for, you know, and leave her for the week because I'm not comfortable leaving her up there for a week. She's, um, she's one of my special dolls and, um, she, she wears a size 18 month clothes. And so this dress is, um, a little bit, a little bit big. I mean, not, not that it's too big for her, but I mean, she has room. If she was to grow, <laughs> she could wear it, a, you know, a little longer. But um, 
I, probably my two toddler girl could wear this dress also, but it would just be short on her because I did it at the length for Magnolia. So anyway, I think that would be a good um, entry for children's wear. Like I said, I have some other toddler, you know, like two toddler size clothes that I have crocheted in the past, but um, there's nothing fancy about them, and I think this has a lot of a fancy um, aspects to it, plus it's glitter yarn, and it just looks more impressive, I think, than the others that I had done. So, yep, I will be entering Magnolia's dress into the fair. Now I've got to figure out um, some of the other things that I'm going to be entering. <laughs> okay, Magnolia, I'm going to sit you back over here. If, if Phoebe knew I was holding Magnolia, she would be in here in a heartbeat, growling and barking because she is very, very jealous of my dolls. It, when I'm dressing one of them or something, she gets so beside herself. She can't stand it. <laughs> I'm supposed to hold her and no one else, even if it's a doll. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing every day. It's just looking in my book here and, you know, seeing what category that I have something that I can put in. Um, our rule for our fair is it had to be made since the last fair, and so I did not know how to crochet at our last fair, so the dress is eligible <laughs> to be entered. <laughs> I did make the, this dress in the last year, though. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm just um, slow go moving today. You know, I'm probably going to end up laying back down because I'm just not feeling it today. <laughs> not feeling like functioning today. <laughs> Thankfully, there's no one depending on me except Phoebe and I guess Ginger. Ginger, are you depending on me? She's laying down here beside me. But when I do go lay down, she will come and lay down beside my bed. Ginger will. Um, I don't like for her to get on the bed because she's a long-haired dog. And I don't want her hair on my bed. But um, she'll come lay down beside the bed, beside me. So I think that's what we are headed to do is take a nap. And I will see you all very, very soon. I appreciate you joining me for a quick little video. I hope you're having a great day. And remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet. Bye, friends.